David over on our Instagram for Professor, for Professor Parrish. Um, what are some small, what are some ways to cheaply increase the production value on small budget slash indie films? Uh, the best way is, is uh, through the look. You know, try to get camera movements in there, play foreground, uh, play with your set dressing that you have uh, on low budgets. Uh, be very careful on how you select your locations that you'll be able to shoot all day. If you've got one location that you're going to be in, it's got a big window, you know, guess what? The sun moves, so that light's going to change through the day, so maybe, you know, have some shades on there or some blinds or something like that or choose not to shoot that or have it very specific times when you shoot that so it's a, it's a lot of choices visually and uh, uh, you know if you can uh, with a low budget you can do things with costuming sometimes acting is really important uh, uh, but visually you know uh, I teach using a lot of foreground get depths in the shots and movements like that and uh, those things usually don't cost a lot of money and again as I said before time is money so mm -hmm. uh, you don't have a lot of time so pre-production prep being ready and having alternatives if things don't work out because uh, uh, I don't know if you're familiar with Murphy's Law which is whatever can go wrong will Murphy loves oh, the film I'm, industry uh, so very be covered that. Uh, that you have other options and you know from all my years working in film, uh, like Beetlejuice and things like that, some of the best things that ended up in the final cut weren't planned. They were an accident or they were something that the director or the DP or the actors saw an opportunity to take advantage of. They shot it and it worked and it was a, you know important parts of the film. So you have to be open. You can't be structured in the sense that you need to have this form of where you're going with the film, how it's gonna put together, but if it doesn't work out or some other opportunity presents itself, grab it. So just know your set and everything that you're shooting before, beforehand, like the ins and out, what's gonna be happening, and just be loose with it. Yeah, be loose with it. Uh, try to anticipate what problems might arise and mm -hmm. have a solution for them. Uh, and it's just, it's prep, prep, prep. Mm -hmm. uh, really understand your story. Story is the most important part. You know, you can have the lowest budget film in the world. If it's got a dynamite story that's gonna grab the audience and you know, the film may be three master shots, that's it. But if you got a story that knocks them dead, you got a movie, mm -hmm. you're, you're in film festivals. That's really interesting. I'll have to do that for my next project. <laughs> 